My little boy came to me last night. He said, Daddy, I wish I could drive that big old truck. Amidst the awards and accolades, country music star George Canyon still sees family as his true legacy. All night long, nobody. For my children, I want them to look, look at their dad and go, yep, dad made a lot of mistakes, yep, dad screwed up a bunch, but he kept his faith and he believed and he always did the right thing. And, and that's really, you know, for, for a legacy, I mean, if they pass that on to their children, I think, how can you go wrong? You can't. For many of Canyon's fans, he can do no wrong. He has sold more than 300,000 albums to date and has also produced his own music. His songs almost always top the country music charts. It's a dream come true for a lot of artists. For Canyon, it was never really a dream to begin with, growing up in Nova Scotia. And I grew up on country and I grew up on rock and I grew up on all, it just it didn't matter what, I didn't understand genres of music, so I just loved it. I loved playing music. Started playing guitar when I was five, uh, you know, and I guess a big, if I look back on my life, um, you know, going to church with mom and dad, of course you always sang in church, that was a thing, mom was always in the choir, um, and as I, as I got older, you know, I would go in the choir, I did a bunch of stuff in the choir, and um, so music was just something you grew up with, it, it was um, innate, kind of built in, never thought it would ever be a career to be honest, but uh, um, very, very blessed that it is. Canyon wrote his first song when he was about 12 years old. He continued writing and eventually recording into university. It was just a side gig until he dropped out of university in 1990 to pursue a music career with his band. After a long stretch of non-stop tours with barely enough cash to make ends meet, he gave up. He even sold all his guitars. Canyon wanted to provide for his wife and kids as a bylaw officer instead. I said to the Lord, what, what is it you want me to do? I'm, I'm really frustrated. I keep fighting on this path, you know, and it's not going anywhere and I'm struggling. I'm playing pubs on the weekends for a hundred bucks for three nights, you know, I, I can't make ends meet. And I just felt the Lord put on my heart. It was, it was a really simple statement. It was, what's the best way you can serve me? Because I had an opportunity to go into law enforcement, and, uh, and it was, what's the best way you can serve me? And I said, well, I think, Father, it's the music. Canyon decided to try again. Unfortunately, his father passed away around that time. Canyon says he knew then he should be grateful for the opportunities in music he did have. So he auditioned for Nashville Star, an American TV program. He eventually placed runner-up. Lots of people come up to me when I'm doing shows and they apologize for me not winning. I said, you have no idea how, how blessed I was to finish second. And the politics and everything around it, second was the place to finish and my career just went crazy from, from there on. And, and I haven't changed that mindset that every day I'm grateful, every day I'm content and it's just blessing after blessing. Canyon has since won industry and fan choice awards alike at the Junos, Canadian Country Music Awards, and more. His song, I Believe in Angels, was one of the most played songs on Canadian radio in 2010. When I was writing songs at a, at a younger age, um, I, I think I was more careful in how I wrote the songs mm -hmm. to not, maybe not be preachy or not really speak my heart. Mm -hmm. and, and as I came into being more of an artist and more mature and comfortable with who I was, that was where I went, you know what, this is who I am, and here's my heart, it's on my sleeve, and if you don't like it, that's fine. If you don't want to be a fan of my music, that's fine. I'm, gr I'm good with that. Um, I'm also very grateful if you are <laughs> a fan, and I like that too. But uh, I really opened up and, and started writing just about my family, about my faith, about what I believe. Now Canyon is taking a step of faith by releasing his first ever contemporary worship album early next year. Believe will include covers of songs by Chris Tomlin, as well as interpretations of classic worship music. Canyon says he has been planning this for years. It's almost as if God said, okay kid, it's time. It's time now. This is what you need to do. And it was a light bulb. Just click. There we go. Because I, I was, like I said before, I was presented the, which way can you serve me best? There's certain songs that I've written in the country world that always have that 
touch, that taste of faith. And then there's a reason for that. And, uh, and then the worship record, it's, you're, you're going for the whole mouthful. You don't need the taste. So, it's, so there's certain tweaks we, we have to make, uh, and that'll be on there too. Canyon will take Believe on a tour to churches and ministry events across Canada. The tour will also include Compassion International, a partnership that came about as a result of Canyon's visit to Ecuador with his family this summer. After I got to take Jen and the kids, my son Kale's 13, my daughter Madison's 12, going on 20. And after I got to take them uh, with me to Ecuador um, and seeing their eyes open, uh, wow, you know, me, seeing all these kids and, and what they don't have, and, but also seeing how happy they are. You know, it kind of, it really brought a, a whole perspective to, uh, to my children. I wish everybody could do it because if every Canadian could go do something like that, you, every Canadian would be sponsoring a child. It's really that simple. Like, no one would say no. You'd have the hardest of hearts if you said no. And so, um, for me, the big thing, and it excites me to talk to, to fans about it, is look at, look at what you can do. Get your stuff, Mickey. We're leaving. He has also taken on a new role in his life as an actor. He has made several TV appearances and recently appeared in his first full-length TV movie. A Mile in His Shoes tells the story of an autistic teen recruited to minor league baseball. Canyon plays the boy's father. So with a new career as an actor, how does Canyon stay grounded? Any father would be thrilled to watch their son pitch in the big game. He is mentally disabled, sir. I give credit where credit is due, and that's to the father, and that's, it's as simple as that. So if I'm doing something or I get to do something, I'm thanking him, because that's why I'm getting to do it. And my wife and my children uh, keep me very grounded, because my, my, I live my life by my faith, my family, and my music. I tell my kids this, there's only one man ever walked the earth that deserved to have an ego. He didn't have one, so the rest of us don't get to have one. A successful career hasn't gone to Canyon's head. As for any future albums or tours, he says he just takes things one day and one song at a time. You know, my, my whole dream for the future is, uh, is, is what I pray for every day, is I just lift it up to God and that His will be done. And because uh, I tell you what, that's pretty darn exciting when you watch it unfold. It really is. So for me, the future is just exciting just watching what He has in store. I know I'm everything He just can't wait to be. For 100 Huntley Street in Edmonton, I'm Megan Kelly.